I'm originally from the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. When I was about 14, I went to the Upper Peninsula State Fair and I saw a blacksmith and a master bladesmith right next to each other. And I was so enthralled that I had to learn how to do it. We are burning bituminous coal. As it burns, it will cook off any impurities and turn into coke. It's very porous. The coke burns a heck of a lot cleaner than coal does. A lot of people wonder why a blacksmith will tap off to the side. That's so they can keep rhythm with their hammer blows. This sound right here, this is my, my drum, my music. When I have another smith standing right next to me, we're hammering in time. The anvils are ringing in different notes. It's like, oh my God, it's so beautiful. That, that's my, oh, oh God, I, lo I love this moment. As we're hammering, keeping that rhythm, our steel will stay hotter longer. We're actually compressing the molecules, creating friction. Anybody have any questions I can answer while I'm waiting for my metal to get hot? A lot of them ask how hot the metal can get. I can get this steel anywhere from 98.6 or whatever room temperature is up to 4,000 degrees, which is molten. So by running the colors, I can tell you how hot it is. It's a nice bright orange. So I'm somewhere around 2,000 degrees right there. Smoking hot. So blacksmith, what color are my arms? Black. What color is my metal? Black. That's how we got our name. What color is my coal? Black. Blacksmith. So what a blacksmith does is we heat our metal and we hammer it into shape. And open up that wedge. Open up. Here we go. And it's starting to open up. Point is done. Come on, get on there. Everything here was done with a hammer, a wrench, and maybe a pair of pliers. You bent that with it? Yeah. But I'm squeezing for all I'm worth. And I take the plier and just walk it around, little by little, and it'll bend into shape. I would rather teach you to be self-sufficient and learn a craft than to sell you something that you say, hey, this is my pretty. I think they're doing a real authentic job. They make things that's custom. You only get one. And they have they take a piece of raw steel and they can twist it and make it into a, all kinds of tools and all kinds of handy things that you can't buy at the store. But if it ever come push to shove, that'd be a handy art to have. Give you one somebody you want in your corner. I teach classes trying to expand the world and their knowledge base so they can pick up this craft and do it on their own as well. It's coming back.